Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone 12 on the iOS 17 Beta 1. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype. This is the channel which you are going to love a lot if you are interested in iOS and Apple related content. So I would suggest you guys to hit that subscribe button. It would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button because I do make a lot of informative and amazing video for you guys. Now that you have done that, let's get right into today's video shall we so iphone 12 i have been using this device on the ios 17 beta 1 since the day one it came out i installed it on my device and here are my all impressions and what's new in this device and should you an iphone 12 owner install this on your iphone 12 let's get right into today's video number one thing that i'm going to start with is the performance oh my god apple silicon is just superb it is crazy how this almost three year old device with 75 percent battery health performs so darn amazing this is the beta one and the performance that i'm getting from this device is just spectacular i'm just loving it the animations and everything is just so freaking smooth and amazing on this device all right now the performance is good and all let's talk about gaming i am not an intensive gamer i just use my phone to play casual games like hit the island and then there are a few games like dr driving then there is eight ball pool i just use my phone to play these small games and i use my laptop to play high graphic game because of course this device is just not capable i mean the battery is just not too good even if it is 100 percent battery health i'm pretty sure battery health for iphone 12 user since the day one has not been the best iphone 12s were infamous for having poor battery life anyways we are here to talk about ios 17 the gaming performance i would give it a around 6 out of 10 just because it does overheat and uh, that is what makes me uh, throw this one away and just let it cool down for a bit and then pick it up again and then start using this phone to play games let me know down in comments below do you guys game on your iphone and have you installed the ios 17 beta one yet most of the guys have already installed it and now they are watching this video i'm saying this and i know this because i was once you i used to install these betas and then watch the review of other people making on my device that how their device is performing on my beta version the performance is a solid 8 out of 10 and the gaming is around 6 out of 10. then talking about the battery life oh my god yes the battery life our favorite part my iphone 12 has 75 percent of battery health so that will play a major role here i will get this device battery replaced really really soon so first of all as you can see here my last charge was 23 minutes ago and now it is down to 79 percent and i am using my device to do only social media and casual gaming and as you can see i am most of the time connected on charger and uh, on low power mode but the days when i go out and uh, just because wwdc is going on and i'm just in my sitting in my studio so my devices are most of the time connected on my desk but the days when i went out this device has lasted around three and a half hours okay that is really really bad even if you got like a hundred percent battery health i'm pretty sure you can get like max to max 30 or 40 minutes extra and that makes it around four to max to max four and a half hours of screen online that is pathetic and of course we know betas are really notorious to have bad battery life so if you are installing this update make sure that the battery life will be a big change on your device because i was having around five to five and a half hours of usage like doing that normal social media stuff and all in my day i was having around five to five and a half hours of screen on time and that is now three to three and a half hours that is 
really really bad talking about the standby feature if you haven't already watched my video i have already made a big video on standby feature and how it works on the iphone 12 i will link it down below the like button you can watch that but the standby feature works amazing on the iphone 12 and as you can see this new call screen also looks just amazing i love this new feature it is just amazing android had this for years but on iphone 12 it looks amazing as well you can also create stickers here you can see i have this photo of greg federici and i just converted it into a sticker and i can use it and throw it on anywhere in imessage and it is not really working that good on other apps it is just pasting it as a png and sometimes not even png it just straight away exits the app for some reason this is a beta one so we will have a lot of issues this effect is particularly my favorite i just love it let me know down in comments below what are your thoughts on the new stickers feature when you are on a call and you have standby mode on you see this beautiful display i mean this beautiful screen look at this it looks just so freaking good it looks amazing and let me know down in comments below what are your thoughts on it standby is one of my favorite feature announced on ios 17 and i would love to know is it your favorite also because it is my personal favorite feature it will of course have many more changes in coming updates as you can see here it is overlapping here so we will have a lot of new changes coming to the ios 17 also i have made a big video on this feature as well the studio light portrait feature and reactions the reactions that apple showed us in the facetime like when you do this and it just shows uh, all the like effect and when you make a heart it will show you heart effect all around you it will show you the heart effect and like effect so that feature works amazing on the iphone 12 as well the studio light feature is basically enhanced portrait mode the same way on camera you use portrait mode and you have portrait lighting you have studio light you can do it in real time and you can adjust the bokeh level and also the studio light level you can also turn on reactions and turn off reactions overall it is an amazing update i really really love this and i have been enjoying this update for sure would i recommend installing this update on your device i would say no just don't install it on your iphone 12 if it is your primary device then a strict no just don't just don't do it please and even then if you want to install it on your device please make sure to take a backup i would say take two backups just to be highly safe not not just icloud but also on your mac or your windows machine take a backup and then install it let me know down in comments below if you enjoyed this video and also let me know if you want a video of me downgrading my iphone 12 to ios 16 let me know down in comments below this is me j aka tech hyped signing off thank you so much for watching this video it would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button as we are so close to 10k peace out